Number three then from paper two of the old hire, this year's old hire paper 2015 is a reconciliation. And actually if you spent time reading through this bit at the beginning it could put you off a little bit. Maybe wondering how you came about those two reconciliations. But the point is it just gives you them in the first place so just start from there. So here's two reconciliations and it says in part A what's the height T2, that's the toads one, the frogs reconciliation, the toads, they're both climbing up a well. What's the height T2, the height of the toad at the end of the second day? Well, here's the height at the end of the first day, and this says to get the height at the end of the set of the following day, you do three quarters of its height the previous day, which is 13, and then add on a 13. Just typing that in gives you 22, hey, I'll leave it as 22 and three quarters feet. That seems more appropriate for the era rather than going for a decimal like 22.75. That's how far the toad got. Now part B for five marks is determine whether or not either of them will eventually escape the well. Now the point is the well's got a height. It's 50 feet. So it's just a case of will any, either of these sequences eventually reach 50 feet. If they can get over 50 feet, they're out. If they don't, they're going to be stuck there forever. Well, the first thing to notice is they've both got proper fractions multiplying them, so they've both got limits. Maybe you have to state that because there are five marks. So we'll say this for the first one. For the frog, since one third is between one and negative one, or you could just use the modulus, that means a limit, L, I'll call that limit for the frog, exists. I'll just assume you have to make that statement. Where that limit would be, b over 1 minus a, or you could just feed it into the equation, L is 1 third of L plus 32. You end up with the same thing. Take that across, and you'll have L minus a third, which is 2 thirds. So you end up with 32 over 2 thirds. That was called LF, I was calling that. Which is 16 times 3, unfortunately, 48. 48 feet, 2 feet short. So for this one you can say, the frog, what does it want? That's another spiel question. Hey, determine whether it escape. So it's this, you're answering, will it escape? Will not escape? as the limit, it's that usual stuff, of 48 is less than the 50 required. Now what about 20? Same thing applies. Since 3 quarters is a proper fraction, that means the limit exists. A limit L, for so was it? T exists. So we can write down that. So the limit, at the limit, if you three quarters of it, and add 13, you're back to it again. Or you can just, taking that over, that means the limit would be one minus three quarters is a quarter, dividing by that, 13 divided by a quarter. Now, 13 divided by a quarter is 13 times four, which is 52. So the toad, oh, 52 feet is more than the 50 foot of the well, so the frog, the, sorry, the toad, so the toad does escape. The toad will escape eventually as the limit of 52 is greater than the 50 required. That's it. Of course, instead of putting down that limit statement, you could just as well just put in your L equals B over 1 minus A because it's just the same thing. So it wasn't actually that bad in the end. It just looked really annoying having to read through this stuff here at the beginning.